Hey, boat friends, just after 9.30 p.m. Central Time here in Duluth, Minnesota, you have the Old School Laker, Mission Pecan, coming inbound. Load iron ore pellets at CN6. Let me give you a quick shot of what's going on here in Duluth. As you can see, aerial lift bridge up 135 feet. Parking lot pretty much full. A lot of people are going to be down there by the north pier. Let me show you the flag. You can see right there in the middle of the screen. Nothing going on. Beautiful conditions. Sunset. Almost done. Let me show you really quick what's going on with the Mission Pecan. As you can see right here, doing 13 knots. we will be going through the aerial lift bridge, going through the Blotnik, and over in this vicinity at CN6 to load those iron ore pellets. And as we can see, neutral current in the canal. We can tell in the middle of the screen that small yellow slash amber light. Letting the captain know there's not too much to worry about from a current standpoint. You can see the sunset. Just made its way over the hill. Keep the Mission Pecan in there for you. As I walk over here. I'm going to hang out right at the top of this little hill to give you the best vantage point. Just never know when they're going to blow that horn slash whistle. As you can see, the Mishipakon is making its way right between the north and south pier. Coming in empty, as I mentioned. I'm going to pass along some additional information about this old school Laker built in 52, 698 feet in length, owned by Lower Lakes Towing, built at the Bethlehem Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company based out of Maryland. Original name was Elton Hoyt II. That was from 1952 to 2003. Let me zoom in just a little more for you. In 1957, she was lengthened by 72 feet. 1980, she was converted to a self-unloading vessel. 2010, its steam turbine system was replaced with a six-cylinder diesel engine and a new pitch propeller. Cargo capacity, 22,000 tons. I'll give you a quick shot. Before it goes all the way through, you will see the crowd here along the North Pier. And as you can see, we still have a little bit of light that's left as the sun really, really is on the edge of being out of here. Well, the fun part of this is you will see the lights now in the Mission Pecan. You see the radar spinning right above the pilot house there, the flying bridge. Got a decent amount of people here, it, it definitely hundreds and hundreds. And the lift bridge returned the salute. Bishop Pecan came in at 100.9 decibel reading. Let's take a look at this bow cutting through the water. I've mentioned this before. We have quite a few pages as boat friends watching the Bishop Pecan. Frequent flyer for sure. Coming into Duluth. You really get to know this vessel well. A lot of scrapes and scratches. Without a doubt, a workhorse. You can see the steering pole that's pointing straight out at the end of the bow. That guides the helmsman. It's on good light where you can still see the sky. The vessel has its lights on, so it makes it pretty fun. You can really 
pick out many other things on the vessel. Take a look at the stack there that's on the, the stern. You can see the company logo there. I see the door open there below the stack. We're going to take a peek. Let's see if we can pick out anything fun. It's always interesting. Sometimes we get lucky and make out quite a few things. Sometimes, no, they got the door open on the other side. It's like a lot of railings, maybe stairs. Canadian flag flying proudly there. The very back side of the stern there. You can see the rudder. Yeah, the problem is if I was down by the wall, it's uh, really tight. I can't really get the best vantage point, but from up here, I can really show it to you. But there you go, both friends. Michigan Cotton got another one in the book for us. As you know, I appreciate you watching the videos. I'll be out here with the next vessel. If you're interested in additional ship videos, here's a few to choose from.